Hi, this is your girl, Akosia Angel Mary Gold. Matsua se se idi ya na wankasa weni tu ya se e ye en se mwanche se. E koso e wo umamu gana e na mini miti ya fuo. Ye be chuchu hon komo. Na ye enso ya che ya adre ye e de afa sa anse mi. Na e ne de idi ya mingi chada e mame kasa e nye ten ten e wo nse mne hon. E ye e fe wijan e tumi e je simpi e so e di insembi abe tuja e fa e ye former person John Dramani Mahama. E ni ni endi se yi ama ye kono mo na ensembe ena oka ye bobo shi ni ya kotie ensembe no mo enche mo bi aba na me so se en forgeti se ube ja ye adwenche ewa ye comment session so ni ya so ye wu se di ye e ye wa adwen e fa sa ensembe yoyi e si e ti ye wu ya wa we komende a ye wu tv e de ama obi fufo this is your girl akosia enje wuma we go on pe se ube ti ye e ye ensembe fi ye ensembe di ye na ensembe ye na che se ope se Oti, it's an say I am with TV and some papa pa a fee and a half. Stay tuned, you got here and some more of a giant edit to Jenny B. And a bar, you bet to are and some for four so a day. I'm a see leader and flag bearer of the NDC and inshallah the incoming president of the Republic of China. The general secretary of the party, other functional and negative. National Executive Committee members, members of Parliament present, and parliamentary candidates across sister constituencies. Fellow students, media, ladies and gentlemen, we are pleased to welcome His Excellency John Dramani Mahama and the team to our beloved constituency at the Batko Auditorium. Your Excellency, let me begin by first of all thanking you so much and Professor Mills of blessed memory for giving us our constituency and the district. Not only that, as a sequel, you made the first MP, who is still our MP in the person of Honorable APA Fusini, the Deputy Minister for Northern Region. Mr. President, during the first four years of his tenure, that is between 2013 to 2016, Sanargo constituency achieved 100% electricity coverage and water. Your Excellency, it is our hope any time NDC is in government, Sanargo gets its fair share of the national king. And our prayer is that we have only two challenges left. And I trust that when you become president once again, you'll be able to deliver it for us. That is our road networks and part of youth unemployment is a problem. Now let me come back to my colleague students. The country is in a mood for change. As young people and finance brains of our party gathered in here today, our task is simple. How do we convert the mood for change into votes? That is what matters now. All these gatherings that we are doing will be meaningless until the final box is counted and declared for His Excellency John Ramani Mahama. Hey, for me, I know, I have to advise for my student colleagues and also to our party executives. There are two ways we can use to win the election without even difficulty. The first is, I call it the political machine. What I'm trying to say here is that this year, fortunately, our campaign messages are resonating well with Ghanaians already. The most famous 24-hour economy. Please. Become ambassadors for change. When you go back to your hometowns, when you go back to your classrooms, when you meet your peers, please sell the campaign message of His Excellency John Dramani Mahama and the NDC. Our message is a product that can easily be sold and bought by Ghanaians. And I'm sure that when we go back to our constituencies and try to replicate similar events like this and champion door-to-door -door campaigns, in the name of John Dramani Mahama and our parliamentary candidates, I am sure victory will be ours by December 7th. Hey, Yezu. The second thing I will advise is that, as part of the political machine, 
NDC is the only political party that respects diversification. NDC is a party that does not discriminate against age, religion, occupation, or gender. Please, in the formation of our constituency and regional campaign teams, we must identify all stakeholder mappings and jointly build a robust and inclusive campaign team that can resonate the people's aspirations. ASU, my final point before I sit down is that oftentimes we think that polling agents is left for people who are not educated or it is a mineral job or it is for foot soldiers. Please, the destiny of over 6 million Ghanaians are in the hands of our executives. Let's not joke with it. Dr. Farijan and the Supreme Court reminded us in 2013 and in 2016 that elections are won at the polling station. Please, let's adopt our polling stations. All constituency executives and regional executives, on election day, don't be at one point. Make sure that you protect your constituency, you protect your region, and victory shall be ours. And let me use this one to, to send a caution to the MPP that they dare not dream of any day annexing the Sanargo constituency. Sanargo shall remain green. Sanargo constituency shall remain green today. It will remain green tomorrow. It will remain green forever. Thank you so much. Thank you, thank you, thank you, parliamentary candidate for Sanargu constituency. In our program, our biggest enemy, our biggest opponent are not the NPP. And there's history to show that when we worked together and when we harnessed our resources and defended the NDC the way we had to defend and educated the people about the wealth, the, the, wealth the, the goodness of the NDC and did not fight ourselves. The NPP had only two seats in Northern Region and Northern Region was considered the World Bank, one of the World Banks of the NDC. But since we stopped advocating our good works as a party in this region and concentrated on ourselves and stopped fighting the NPP and rather concentrated on fighting ourselves, the NPP started gaining majority in the northern region. Not majority of votes yet, but the challenge for us in this year's election is for us to push the NPP back and retrieve the seeds that we have lost to them. And the only way we can do that, we already know that the NDC represents inclusion. The NDC represents diversity. The NDC represents development, progress and growth. And there is evidence to show that our, forefathers, our fathers and our grandfathers did not support the NDC for supporting sake. They supported the NDC because it delivered to their needs. The most important bridges that you will find in Northern Region that connect towns to each other were constructed by the NDC. Our enduring regional hospital is, was renovated and expanded by the, the NDC. Our Tamale Town roads and the roads that link us to the Upper East Region and even to the Southern Region was, were constructed by the NDC. Even in the area of education, the University for Development Studies is a testimony of NDC's contribution to, ND, to the growth of this region. If you talk about electricity expansion and its extension across the country, the NDC is the, is the party that extended electricity to this place. And so whatever product comes out of that electricity, thanks to the NDC. And so these were the reasons that our fathers and our grandfathers supported the NDC, because they knew that the NDC delivered to their needs. The Tamale International Airport today serves to the pride of everybody who calls himself a Nordner. Whether you are from the Upper East or the Upper West, the Tamale International Airport serves to the pride of everybody. Especially to us Muslims, it has become easier for us to undertake the Hajj pilgrimage because of this legacy that the NDC has left. And so, for us in this election, it is time to get back to our roots and go back to do the things that our uncles used to do. Let us 
gird our loins. Let us unite and let us make sure that everybody's contribution is acknowledged and appreciated. And that way, we can push the NPP back to where they belong. And we can reclaim the northern region as a stronghold of the NDC. Because it will be a shame. It will be a shame. When what God has decreed, God has decreed, inshallah, that His Excellency John Dramani Mahama is going to be the next president of the Republic of Ghana. But wait a minute. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. It will be a shame. It will be a shame on you and I when the victory is declared and our contribution is nothing to write home about as Northern Region, especially when His Excellency the President prides and brags about the fact that he was raised in Northern Region and he, he considers Northern Region as his home region. Let us not dare to disgrace and disappoint him because that victory will surely come. And when that victory comes, let Northern Region be counted as one of the greatest contributors to that victory. Ezu, finally, let me assure you that His Excellency 